Yeah, keep it turned. I would like to tell our viewers that this is not mother approved. Hey. You forgot to do the Cassie shuffle. First nope. step, the first step always gets you. You almost busted your rear end. Yep. Ransom, if I get this four wheeler, no donuts and no fish telling. Got it? Ransom. Ransom. Let's see if you do it. <laughs> Daddy, he doesn't need any encouragement. Stop right here. On the, on the. All right, Ice? Ransom. Let's see your best burnout, okay? Burnout. Yeah, I want to see your best burnout. Okay. You gotta turn your wheel. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. Woo! Yee yee! Okay, keep it turned. I would like to tell our viewers that this is not mother approved. Good donut. That's the kind you can eat for breakfast. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by today. We've got a tarp because one of our subscribers uh, told us something that we didn't really think about. We have eight to 12 inches of snow forecasted for tomorrow. And they said, hey, why don't you just throw a tarp over that uh, chicken run? And we didn't really think about that, but that's a great idea. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, as you just saw, we started off with Ransom out there on the ice. The kids have been loving the ice. Uh, they get out there and slide down our sidewalk and do all kinds of stuff. But tomorrow, I think they're going to love the snow even more. So you won't see that on this video, but maybe the next one will be them in the snow. So just like I told you last time, if you don't have to get out, don't. Stay home, stay safe. Well, I didn't plan on getting out for the last uh, five days, but I ended up making an emergency trip to the hospital because I did something that was totally preventable. So stick around to the end of the video and find out what exactly you can do to not end up like me in the hospital on an icy day. Also, if you're not following us on Facebook, make sure you head over to Walker Farm Fam on Facebook and like um, and follow us because we're always putting the things that the kids are doing on there and not and and we also share videos that we aren't always able to put on YouTube. So head over to our Facebook and like it so you can follow us there as well. Through. Uh, well, if I stick it through, oh, it's gonna yeah. stop there. So as you can see, this won't cover the entire chicken run, but it's gonna get uh, about two thirds of it, which should leave hopefully the chickens some space without snow. So we'll go ahead and secure it with these zip ties because we want to be able to cut this off really easy later. So we'll just put a few zip ties on each side and call it good. Also, want to do it quickly because it's freezing out here, about 15 degrees, and my fingers are cold. Ransom, are you cold? Huh? Yep. Alright, let's tie this off. Somebody's hungry over there. It's a cow. Hey, Daddy, can we We're getting to you. You're next, girls. I promise. Here, let's go to the other side real quick. Don't go blow away, okay? Daddy's fingers are becoming like icicles. Oh, yeah. Get my 
Fuller. What'd you say? I'm going to get my Fuller over here and read it. Okay, be careful, all right? I want you to sleep. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> he just said, don't worry. <laughs> we hear you. We're taking care of the chickens and then you're next. You back? <laughs> All right, Gary's got this side done. Working on the other side. When you engineered this, what was the uh the weight load for it. Do you remember? Is that a serious question? No. <laughs> Not 15 inches of snow. Oh, it's taking off again. We're going to have to put some stuff on top to keep it from blowing up, maybe? No, when the snow falls on it, it'll, it'll go away. Okay. Fine. okay. Oh, hey. You might notice a new accessory right now. Ransom? What? What are these? Goggles. Goggles. That's right. So I was out here putting out these hay bales right here. Um, I placed four of them out next to our fence. So if we get too much snow, all I have to do is cut the strings off of these and they're ready to eat for the cows. But I was on the tractor and a piece of this hay flew right into my eye and it hurt like no other. I jumped off the tractor, I went in the house, I got Cassie to help me. Um, we got a, a rinse kit out of our first aid kit. Tried to rinse the eye out the best that we could and we couldn't get it all out. I don't know if it was just up under there too bad or what. So I had to go the next day, drive through the ice to the hospital, um, to the optometrist and get it taken out by them. 
Ransom, were you worried about Daddy? He was a little bit worried about me. Jojo, were you worried about me too? It turned out it was just a little piece of grass that was still up under my eyelids and stuck really good. And if I would have been wearing these goggles the whole time, it wouldn't have been a problem. So from now on, at least uh, in the near future, I'm going to be wearing these because I don't want to go through that again. All right, Ransom, show them how to do the Eskimo shuffle. Sounds like ice skating. Sounds like ice skating? Daddy, try it. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. Do it one more time for us. That's how to walk. That one. All right, do it. Just do it. If you have a porch I, like I, this, I, just I do it. You. He dares you. I dare you to do it. He dares you to do it's it. It's super fun. Super fun. Some of you guys asked on the last video, what about the cat and the dogs? So we went and got this brand new insulated dog house for the dogs. And they have a blanket inside. Jojo never gets in a dog house. We've had several, Gary's even built stuff, and he just doesn't get in it. He doesn't mind the cold. But he has been getting in this lately. And uh, we do have a pen that we put Hank in from time to time. Since he's a puppy, sometimes we gotta train him, or he's doing something he shouldn't, we put him in there. But this doghouse is big enough for both of them to share when he's out. And let's show you what Gary and the kids made. So they made this little cat house the other day. And, uh, it's, it's small enough, I, I, you could get in it. We have seen Susie get in it, but we've also seen her laying in there with Jojo. So she can go either direction, um, Twinkie, our cat that you guys have seen that lives in the big tree. We have not seen him for several weeks, way before it turned cold. So he's either found him a house and a warm, cozy spot or something. Um, but we have not seen him lately, but if he does happen to come up, he's got this as well and his food and water. So all pets are taken care of. No need to worry. We've also got more wood in the truck bed. You guys saw in the last video, Gary was getting more wood. This is the second load of wood. So it's worked out great. Put it in here, put it under the carport. It stays dry. And then as you saw the other day, he was filling up this gorilla cart. We keep it full as well. And we got a little bit over here if we got to get into that. What I love about our fireplace and we say all the time is none of this mess, this mess is inside our house. It's all outside. It's a double sided fireplace. So we got the fire in here. You'll see way back in there. Someone said one time, why are you hitting your back porch? It's double sided. There's doors on the front as well. We just hardly ever open them because no mess, no smoke. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Everything happens out here and we absolutely love it. So let's head inside where it's nice and warm. What, are, what do you say? Nice and cozy? Okay. Where it's nice and cozy and let's check on the baby chicks. I'm going to push it. So we made it back inside where it's nice and warm. But before Cassie shows the chickens, I wanted to give a special shout out to Everett, Addison, and Lily. These are my cousins. I saw them today while we were unloading wood at my parents' house and they said they subscribed to the channel. So I wanted to say, hey, I hope you guys are having a great day. So we made it back in where it's nice and cozy. <laughs> Ransom is in front of the fireplace, but the chickens are doing good. This one's got white on its wings. I think that's pretty cool. And then yellow feet and white or yellow chest. So, whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's okay, it's walking around. So, um, this was like a barnyard mix that Ray sent us. I either got water on me or pooped on me. Um, so they all look a little different and I don't really know what any of them are. This one right here looks a little blue, so I'm excited about that. You gotta keep their wings down or they will try to get away. But it's got kind of blue legs and looks blue. 
we have a chicken that's blue and it's a good chicken and she's pretty so that'd be pretty awesome they're about at the size that we would transition them out into the shop we have a, a baby playpen that we put them in um, but since it's so cold we're going to keep them in here a little longer um, Gary walked in this morning and this one was up on top so we might have to get some wire to put over it or something um, one of you guys said something about the brooder heater that's in here and about it uh, being too low or too hot. I can't remember what you said, but um, it has a thermostat. It can only get to a certain temperature, but also I can touch it with my hands and it does not burn me. So it's not, it's not as hot as like a heat lamp or something. And so they've done awesome with it. Let me, there's a uh, four all together. So let me find the other two and you can take a look at them. So there was a possibility of one of them being an AM Simonic. Okay. Up. I'll get you one in a second, okay? okay? So there was a possibility of at least one chick being an AM Samani. These have darker legs and this one has an almost all dark face. This one has some color on it. The pink egg, which is the color of an AM Samani egg, is the egg that after 22 days I busted open and there was a fully feathered chicken side. Um, so we think we know what happened with that. We think it just was never able to hatch out and I should have helped it. Um, I didn't realize that at the time. Um, so I'm pretty sure that was an AM Simani. This one, these two right here, I would say are probably part AM Simani because of their coloring. You got to keep their wings down or they'll fly. They've gotten so big. See? Okay. <laughs> I, I can, I can. Okay, you got to keep your hands on top of their wings. Easy, don't squeeze though. See? Good job. Sure? Yeah, mother hold it. You just see if their wings get away, then they'll start flapping them. So you gotta keep your hands on top of their wings, but you can't crush them. There you go, nice and easy. Their claws hurt too, don't they? It hurts very bad. Oh. <laughs> hey. Ow. Don't try to focus on it. Yeah, it's pooping. What? <laughs> it's pooping. You want it, you want it to set on your head? No. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take off. <laughs> we thank you guys so much for watching today. Again, it's another cold day on the farm. We're adjusting. We're working to try to take care of our animals the best we can. We know lots of you. This is what you do day in and day out, and our hat is off to you. We're not used to this kind of weather, but we're doing our best. What do you guys want to tell them? Um. Do you know my favorite thing is? What? Do spin outs. Do spin outs? Mm -hmm. I told you, you better quit watching Chad over at Adler Farms. <laughs> Subscribe, Bye. hit the book for notifications, and God bless. Mom, get me over here. <laughs>